What is going on, YouTube? This is Gavin21202, aka Gavin Orlandi, here bringing you guys all the latest WWE news, rumors, headlines, and updates in the form of a three topic WWE news videos. I got three main event topic, three main event caliber topics for you guys. You guys already know what it is. At the end of the video, you throw down in the comment section what your favorite video was. Uh, got talked to the like of AJ Styles, Dolph Ziggler, Kofi Kingston. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a fire episode. You guys aren't going to want to miss it. I'm not going to want to miss it. And I just want to get into it, and I want to start talking about it, and I want to hear your guys' feedback. So, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, here we go. Three, two, one. Pow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, jumping right into the first topic, we have breaking news in regards to AJ Styles. Now, for those of you that don't know, AJ Styles just recently re-signed a brand new WWE contract. And with that being said, he does not have any plans to sign a new one. AJ Styles, the current WWE deal that he was under, it's for five years. He just recently signed it last month, two months ago. And with that being said, he has confirmed and he has made it public that at the time of the contract running out, he'll be 46 years of age and he does not plan on re-signing a contract with WWE. And with that being said, for those of you that don't know, AJ Styles has already had an entire career of wrestling way before he even got to WWE. So if he would have retired uh, before even making it there, his career would have been complete because he, he's just accomplished so much. Um, but as of right now, WWE, AJ Styles, under good terms, they're under good terms, under good negotiations. Obviously, Styles got what he wanted uh, in order for him to actually sign the contract. Uh, off for five years because his last WWE deal I believe was two or three years so um it's going to be pretty interesting to see how the next six years pan out with AJ Styles being around uh it'll be weird seeing him go um but as of right now it doesn't seem like WWE has like the biggest plans for Styles um just keep him running in the cards it doesn't seem like they have any plans to get him anywhere near the WWE championship anytime soon but to just you know carry on feuds uh without a championship and be the match on the card that is a show stealer, but not necessarily the championship opportunity. Uh, and I excuse myself about the WWE championship. I'm thinking to myself, he's on SmackDown still. Uh, it seems like WWE doesn't have any uh, opportunity, or they have the opportunity. They don't have any uh, plans to put AJ Styles back uh, in the Universal Championship picture, if you know what I'm saying. They may be planning to... Uh, further that some other way with some other different feuds so ladies and gentlemen we're gonna hop right into the second topic of today's video ladies and gentlemen sean spears aka also known as ty dillinger the perfect 10 who was just recently released by wwe upon request uh it's been made official that he will be making his in-ring debut this coming saturday at all Elite Wrestling's Double or Nothing pay-per-view. Now, with that being said, for those of you that don't know, Hangman Page was set to go one-on-one -on -one with Neville, a.k.a. Pac, but because of creative differences, Pac is now off the show and that match will not be happening, and it is very possible that Ty Dillinger could be very well taking his place in the match against Hangman Page. Although that is not confirmed, it's just a rumor. It could. It's a very big possibility of happening. Um, Pac will not be on the show. WWE uh, didn't know how to utilize Dillinger, so Dillinger went elsewhere, and now it's going to be very interesting to see how this all pans out with Dillinger and AEW. Uh, it's a whole different breed of stars over there. It's a whole different breed of uh, wrestling. Um, and with that being said, WWE is going to... The WWE is going to have to capitalize on this. WWE, double or nothing is coming up. WWE has to capitalize on this. I don't know. They should have ran an NXT show maybe the same night or something. But I think that WWE has to throw the first shot. If, uh, Ladies and gentlemen, I think WWE's really got to throw the first shot in this one. Uh, I think they got to start this war, and I think they got to end this war. Um, now, obviously, there's a chance that AEW could end up going over WWE in this chance, Um, but... Double or nothing coming up, WWE is going to have to step up their game because after that, bam, on fire. That's when they're producing weekly content, and then they're just on the map, and they're on competition, and then they're competition with WWE, and WWE screwed. So WWE's got to do something to pull up those ratings because fans aren't liking it, and it's not going to be very cool once AEW uh, goes into full effect. So 
ladies and gentlemen, throw down in the comments if you're looking forward to possibly seeing uh, Ty Dillinger versus Hangman Page or just overall see Ty Dillinger in AEW. But ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, we're going to hop right into the third and final topic of today's WWE News video. And ladies and gentlemen, the third and final topic, the main event of today's WWE News video is breaking news in regards to Dolph Ziggler and Kofi Kingston. Interesting. Very, very interesting. No, honestly, I'm being very, very serious. I, 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 think, I think that this Dolph and Kofi feud has potential. I really do. Uh, now, obviously, um, now this match happening at Super Showdown, WWE building it up pretty quick. Um, it, it's going to be a good one. All right, for those of you that don't know, this was uh, Kofi Kingston. He won his first singles championship from Dolph Ziggler, the Intercontinental Championship, I believe. And um, those guys were always feuding over the Intercontinental Championship when I was watching as a kid. And it just seems like now over the WWE Championship, the stakes are higher. Things are bigger. It's going to be great and it's going to be amazing. And it seems like WWE may have some plans. Now, Paul Heyman distracting... A bit last night for Dolph Ziggler to come in from behind, attack Kingston. And with that being said, it's very, very possible that WWE may pull the trigger and actually give Dolph Ziggler the WWE Championship, but only to have him be cashed, on and cashed in on right after by Brock Lesnar. Now, that is just a possibility and a rumor going around. Now, with that being said, that could then lead to a feud between Ziggler and uh the Beast Incarnate, Lesnar over on SmackDown with probably Lesnar running, uh, it'd probably be kind of like a heel-on-heel -heel role, but there's not any 100% truth uh, nor conception to any of this. It's just all rumors. Uh, but as we know, when we last saw Ziggler, Ziggler was a babyface. Uh, he was a babyface for his feud against Drew and uh, now coming back as a heel. WWE spicing things up a little bit. It's going to be cool to see how this all pans out. I really hope Ziggler wins at fair and square. I hope he carries the title for a long time. Maybe this is WWE's way of saying thank you to him for everything that he's done. Uh, but now I honestly think this is the last opportunity that WWE has to capitalize on Ziggler and give Ziggler that push that he's always deserved. So, um, honestly... Honestly, I, I really hope that WWE has finally seen his potential, Um, you know, just finishing up his comedy tour. And with that being said, um, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to finish up this video. So uh, absolutely amazing video today, especially the last, the first topic. Absolutely amazing. Great to, uh, also to hear that Ty Dillinger will be going to AEW. Uh, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, you guys already know what it all is. North, I'm going to bring you all the latest WWE news, rumors, headlines, and updates. I need you guys to do me a couple things. That is to like this video, favorite this video, share this on every social media platform that is humanly possible, and do me one final thing, and definitely subscribe. Thanks, guys. Love you all. Gavin2102, out.